Yo, finally managed to get out to make this video for you, so I'm just gonna try and keep it short. Uh, anyway, first things first, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delve into the pack, but before I do that, I just wanna show you the exterior and what I have on it while I'm walking through the woods. So first off, the first aid is extremely quickly accessible on your right shoulder um, in this little pouch over here, and you can take him off easily with this um, Grimlock, whatever, if you need it. Of course, the radio. Now, when going alone, I'm not gonna have this, but when going with my wife, I would have this on. Also, I like to have my saw handy because a lot of times I'm gonna gather wood so that I can make up a chair or that I need it for setting up maybe like a cook system or whatever. So having this handy, I like that. And also the GPS. Um, most of the times I'm not gonna have this when going to local woods. Let me also talk about the side pockets over here. Here I have some toilet paper and a headlamp. Now on this side, I would usually have some snacks or something like it, but this is empty right now, but maybe like Snickers bars or whatever, just some energy bars that I can munch on as I'm walking through the woods. Like I said, I like to have my tools handy. So when I get to camp, I want to be able to access my tools really quickly. Working gloves, knife and an ax. Uh, that's what I have over there. And on the other side, I have my water bottle. Now, when it comes to packing the pack itself, um, the bottom of it is like Cordura canvas, whatever kind of thing. The, the whole thing is made of that canvasy material. So it's basically waterproofish up to a certain degree. But what I've done to the bottom, I waxed it and then just used a hairdryer to melt that in. So this is like totally waterproof. It, it never leaked and you can put it on wet ground or whatever. And it's also pretty durable as well. So you're not gonna rip it. Now, the thing is you have a zipper over here that you can use to access um, stuff you have at the bottom. When it comes to packing the pack, what I like to do is have the heavy stuff at the bottom towards my back and the lighter stuff towards the upper part of the pack. That way the weight is gonna be evenly distributed along my back and it's not gonna like make the pack pull me back or whatever. So it just makes it more comfy this way. So everything's laid out right now and we're gonna delve into what's where and what's what. All right, so just starting off with this really thick fleece layer that I would usually have on me as a jacket. So right now it's just sitting here, but that would usually be on my person. What I have is my three by three tarp and next to it a bivy sack that I'm usually not gonna have with me, but during winter conditions um, or when it's cold and wet, I would have this with me. Uh, next to it, you have sleeping pad. Oh, and yeah, one more thing about this guy. If you wanna like do stealth camping and not be seen, you can just put this guy and crawl into it with your sleeping pad and your sleeping bag and without setting up any shelter, this will keep you dry. This is totally waterproof and it's gonna act as that, that kind of shelter. So if you wanna do like really stealthy camping or not set this up, this, this is the way to go. Um, yeah, so sleeping pad and a bunch of cordage and ropes for setting up uh, the system and then uh, my winter down sleeping bag now this is something i would carry with me most of the time this is like an old foam sleep mat but the thing about this guy is i use it for setting up certain tarp shelter configurations where i need to put like a stick in the middle of it so this will prevent the stick from tearing up my tarp and to go with it i have a rag that i would sometimes use to um like provide extra protection or you can just use it as a rag around camp whatever but mainly that's used for shelter building moving next to what i have in my top lid of the pack is a gps radio towel um pump for inflating my uh, sleeping mattress um first aid like I mentioned before, this stuff will mainly be on my person, on the pack, as I'm walking through the woods, so I have quick access to it. Now, when I'm around camp, I would usually have my radio um, on my belt or whatever going with me. If, if, if I'm with someone that I want to be able to contact, otherwise I'm not gonna carry this if I'm going alone. I don't really need it. Moving over to the clothes, I have, of course, the tarp clothes are in dry sacks that make them totally waterproof. This is as well, so that if this is wet, it's not gonna get other things in the pack wet. That's why this is in a waterproof pack. Um, and of this, obviously, because I don't wanna get it wet. Now, what I have over here is one spare pair of socks, um, underwear, merino, um, long johns, um, 
additional bandana and uh, I think that that's it. I don't really carry all that much spare clothes. I just wash what I need and then I have spares for that. Um, and my jacket, uh, which is like oil skin, wax, totally waterproof, but very rugged and durable, bushcraft style type jacket. Um, a pack cover uh, that came with the pack, uh, kind of stupid color, but whatever, it is what it is. Hat, gloves. What would also be considered part of the shelter is this. It's my DIY chair for setting up around camp. It really makes it nice to have something to sit on while sitting around the fire. Uh, you need sticks for this to make it and assemble it. And sometimes you're not gonna feel like carrying this. So in that case, you're just gonna carry this really nifty, nice sit pad that's gonna make your ass not get cold. And now on to the tool section, the favorite one. This leather piece with a little bit of cord on it is what I call a woodsman's apron. Um, basically, I would use this to protect myself while carving or just doing some kind of work that requires precision and I might slip with my knives. So just like a working um, surface, I guess. And a piece of leather you can also use for multiple purposes if you need it. Inside that, titanium, really lightweight trowel for making poop holes mainly, but you can use it for like making a fire pit as well. But mainly you don't want to leave mess behind you. Uh, leave no trace, all that stuff. So yeah, just uh, dig your holes when you shit. That, that's what that's for. Um, I'm not gonna explain what this is. I just won't. Uh, working gloves. I'm neither gonna explain what this is. So sometimes you want to have a hunting tool with you and sometimes you don't, but what this is, sling with nine pellets. This thing packs hell of a punch. It's of course TheraBand, really powerful, uh, really precise, and you can hit a squirrel in the head if you know how to. And of course, folding saw, like I mentioned earlier, I would usually have this on me so I can harvest wood while I'm walking through the woods. Um, fire kit together with some other nice things with it. Um, I'll open this up and uh, cover what's in it a little bit later, same as the cooking system and that's what we're getting into next i'll cover what's in the cooking system together with this um it's a titanium mug now the thing about this guy is that it has a lid that's why it's um in this little orange pouch also so that the soot doesn't cover my pack all over um when i'm using this and you can see the lid in there so yeah that's really nice fits snugly onto the water bottle and with this it's not gonna rattle make any sounds or like that grill thingy it's really lightweight problem with it is it tends to rust so you need to clean it often and the spork of course just handy and a little swiss um it's really tough to get it out with one hand uh this is a stupid waste of time but whatever uh yeah you leave it now what i have over here is this titanium plate that can also be used as a frying pan so lid to go together with a pot the pot is approximately two liters and it's perfect for making any kind of meal while out in the wilderness inside you have this um handle that you can use for your plate to make it into a proper frying pan when stir frying whatever and you can also use it on your pot as a handle so that can also come in handy this is just wire for cleaning all the titanium stuff from soot and inside here there is an extremely cool sawyer gravity filter that i use for water moving over to the possibles pouch mainly containing a uh, fire lighting setup now inside here, what I usually have is a really thick birch bark and you can use this stuff to light up, I don't know, like 20 fires at least. Then a tin can inside of which snare wire. I'm not gonna explain what this is used for. Sometimes you're not gonna have that sling over there. Then there's char cloth um, and this tin itself has a little hole at the top and you can just use this to make more char cloth in case you need it. And uh, this is just like a magnifying glass. 
can be used to light up a fire or just um, check if you have some kind of splinter or something like that uh, for medical purposes, but it's just in there. Now, usually I will not carry this little tin can. It's not really all that necessary for me. I usually just go with a fire rod and um, birch bark uh, together with a little bit of fat wood and a DC4 um, sharpener. Yeah, uh, this is a very popular thing. Everybody uses this, it's just great. Um, a little bit of wick, this is pure cotton. This can be charred and then used for lighting a fire in case you need it to, but you can just use this together with like an old beer can or whatever to make like a little fat lamp lighter, just in case you're feeling extremely lazy to practice your bushcraft skills. And of course you have like a whole lot of um, this um, natural cord that's going to dissolve over time in case you leave it out in the woods. And this is the little woodsman's apron as I call it. Okay, that pretty much covers it. I don't think there's anything I forgot to mention. Uh, that's basically it. So at the end of the day, you just wanna keep it simple and still have everything you might need. Um, with your tools, you're able to build up pretty much anything you need or want from small cooking contraptions to shelters, to beds, to whatever. So just keeping it simple so that your bag doesn't get too tired and that's about it.